congratulations on Thank you. making the decision. Um, when did you know that Oklahoma was the best fit for you? Uh, I kind of knew, I want to say about beginning of July. Uh, I took an official, uh, not an official, but a virtual visit, and I fell in love with it. Uh, my friend had just passed away, and Coach Lincoln Riley, in a virtual visit, he had a, um, a 10 jersey on. And I was kind of confused, you know what I'm saying, at first, because I didn't, I, I'm like, I don't wear 10. So I said, in my head, I'm like, why you got 10 on? But my friend had wore 10. And he said, I know this number is like significant to you. And I was like, in my head, I'm like, nah, like, I'm not catching it. And he says, your buddy just passed away. We sorry for your loss. And that showed me different. I was like, that, that told me a lot about them as a program and talking about him as a person. Cause a lot of schools, you know what I'm saying, they were telling me like, sorry for your loss, but they weren't really showing me they were actually, you know what I'm saying, sorry. And that really showed me that they really care about me as a person more than just a football player. I know we talked back in April and you were very passionate when you said you didn't want to hear the same spiel. Right. You heard it from a lot of different schools. You wanted something different. You wanted something to stand out. Right. Did you get the sense at that point that was the standout moment for Oklahoma and that made your decision easier. Yeah, that definitely was a standout moment for them. Uh, it was no brainer, you know what I'm saying? Where that and the three year plan they have, uh, the three year plans pretty much, guys at other colleges pretty much have to worry about doing final exams and finishing up classes while they're trying to get ready for the draft. Versus me at Oklahoma, I'm already finished with my class in three years because when you touch down as a freshman, you're in classes, there's no waiting around. You know, some schools, you, you're just uh, working out. But at Oklahoma, it's like you're straight in class. So you're getting ahead of everybody else. So while other guys at other schools are, you know what I'm saying, worried about finishing classes and doing finals, I'm already done with that. So I'm already training, I'm getting ready for the combine while other guys can't. How important was the Shane Beamer factor? Obviously he has Virginia ties with him, coaching at Virginia Tech, his dad was at Virginia Tech. How much did that play a role in the decision? Uh, he, he has a great friendship with my coach, Coach Johnson and Coach Mayo. So like him keeping it real with them, keep coming, coming to me and keeping it real with me, that played a part too. Because every coach at Oklahoma played a, a huge role in my commitment. And I feel like all of them kept it real. If something was going on, they let me know. If spots were, you know what I'm saying, on the verge of being gone, they let me know versus other schools that I was, you know what I'm saying, about to commit to, they didn't let me know till I was ready to commit that spots were gone. And they let me know, like soon as, like spots were almost gone, they let me know. It wasn't, they never pressed me about anything. They let me handle the process at my own speed. They let it know that, they let it be known that they wanted me. I didn't want them, they wanted me. So that was great too. How do you think your game and your style of play defensively, how will that fit with Oklahoma's style of defense? Oh, uh, I think it'll fit great because in Oklahoma's defense, I could pretty much play anywhere in the defensive backfield. And that's what I do for Highland Springs. I can play anywhere. So it's like I'm leaving high school, going right back to like the same type of program, the same type of winning mindset. Everything's good. They play with swag just like me. So I feel like I'm in the right position and I made the right decision. Now that you've made this, this decision, mm -hmm. what is next for you? Obviously, we talked at the camp about high school football now being played most likely in the spring. There yeah. will be no fall football. What's next for you moving forward after this decision? Um, that's just a decision I had to make whether I'm going to play or not. But I, um, I can't early enroll. That's not an option. So it's a decision that I had to make with my coach and my team on whether I play in the spring. Um, right now, it's very tough to make because, like I said, it's my senior year, and I don't want to miss that. But I, don't, I also don't want to risk getting injured or anything when I'm ready to go to school. So. How, how much will you talk with Lauren about that? I mean, he, he, I know he helped you tremendously in this process of picking the school. How how much, I guess, how will that communication be between you and Lauren in regards to whether you will play your senior year or whether you just will have that full year to train to get ready for OU uh, next fall? Coach Jay will be, a, he, he will play a huge role in my decision. He's not going to let me do anything wrong, and he's going to give me a whole lot of insight on things that he had to do. And nobody's had, ever had to do this, had to make this decision. But Coach Johnson is a very smart person, and he's going to think like he's in the position that I'm in. So I know he ain't going to tell me nothing wrong. So I'm going to just keep talking to him, keep talking to my teammates, you know what I'm saying, and keep praying.